Okay, so you started playing with uh, deep learning and you figured out that uh, neural networks take, uh, take up a lot of uh, VRAM, uh, they are really compute intensive, and that you'll need some expensive hardware, specifically GPUs, in order to uh, do anything meaningful. So in this video, I'm going to break it down for you and start with the uh, cheapest options, like uh, zero dollars. Uh, like free free options first and then in the second part of the video i'll give you some recommendations about the paid options also so without further ado let's uh, start with the first option okay so the first two options you should consider uh, are both free and they are uh, google colab and kaggle so you probably heard of both of them actually they both belong to google google colab um, is awesome because it gives you uh, GPUs and also TPUs for free. And the same goes uh, for Kaggle, which gives you P100 uh, GPUs, which are actually a bit better than uh, Colab's because Colab gives you K80s. There are a lot of tutorials how to get started and I won't get into that part, I'll just give you uh, all the options you have. There are obviously some trade-offs when using Google Colab and using Kaggle, and the main ones is that the, they disconnect after a certain period. So for Colab, you can expect around 12 hours before it kind of just disconnects your runtime. And Kaggle gives you around nine hours uh, of uh, free usage. Now, if your GPU goes idle, uh, it will basically stop your, your runs. And there's one more thing you should know, and that's that uh, there is no guarantee that Colab will give you GPUs or TPUs. They have a certain amount of GPUs per region, so if if uh, people in your region are using Colab a lot, either for deep learning or maybe mining, uh, then uh, you probably won't get uh, a GPU, and that sucks. Okay, for the second uh, part of this video, uh, I'm going to tell you uh, what your next free options are, and that's cloud. And I hear you say, wait, cloud? But the thing is, most of the big uh, traditional cloud providers, such as uh, Azure, uh, such as AWS, uh, Google Cloud Platform, or GCP for short, they all give you like 200 to $300 for a month for free. And you can kind of use that. So Azure gives you 200 uh, bucks for a month. Also, uh, IBM gives you $200 uh, for a month. GCP gives you $300 for a month. And finally, uh, Alibaba gives you $300. You also have AWS has some free program, but I'm not sure if they have the same thing as these ones I mentioned. I, I think they only offer CPUs. So doing this, you can basically uh, have a, like a, you, you could have uh, cloud GPUs like K80s uh, for four or five months if you just switch between these providers. And it, it's kind of annoying to kind of to switch all the time, but you basically need one day to set it up and get started. And then you have it free for a month and then you can just switch to the other cloud provider. Doing this, you'll acquire important uh, skill and that's using uh, different cloud providers. Later, if you wanna maybe uh, continue using some of them, you can just pay and keep using the provider. So aside from these traditional cloud providers, you also have uh, machine learning specific cloud providers such as uh, Spell, which I've used and which is really super easy to use, much easier than some of these more traditional cloud providers. Uh, there is also uh, paper space, there is Floyd Hub, there are a bunch of options there. So Spell gives you 10 bucks for free and you can check for the others. I'll link a bunch of useful resources down in the description. So the thing with these uh, ML specific cloud providers is that they are all based off of uh, like traditional providers. So they use as the backbone, they use either AWS or Azure or GCP uh, and so forth. And that was basically it for the free options. So you either use Colab or Kaggle for free forever, uh, but obviously you, it's slower, it sometimes disconnects your runtime, so there are some uh, cons there. Uh, or you simply use, uh, you switch from cloud provider to cloud provider, uh, you, you get a lot of skill by doing that, and you get some awesome GPU clusters for free. So those were the free options. Now let's jump into some of the paid options which you may consider if you're doing deep learning uh, really seriously. So there are basically two things you could do here. Um, you could either just buy some hardware off the shelf or you could build your own custom PC. You can basically build a deep learning PC for 
uh, less than thousand bucks and it could be really good. I'll link a couple of those videos for building a budget deep learning PC down in the description. If you have more money, you can build obviously better uh, deep learning PCs, also called those deep learning rigs. So basically, if you can afford two or three or four thousand dollars, you can build a really a beast of a PC. And uh, the reason why you, you might want to do this is if you're really doing some serious deep learning, then you'll either have to pay some cloud-based solution or you'll build your custom PC. And there are a bunch of resources out there that show that it's much more cost-effective to actually build your own deep learning uh, rig. And I'll also uh, link some of the resources down in the description uh, helping you build uh, the rig for yourself. So at the end, it all depends on your preference. If you, if you don't have any budget whatsoever and you want to start with machine learning, then go with Kaggle or go with Google Colab. Uh, if you do have some money, but you don't want to lose any time, you just want something quick, just buy some off-the-shelf uh, PC uh, or a deep learning rig. If you do have some money and you also do have some time to spend, you can. the best thing to do is to build your, your own deep learning rig. And I think that the worst option, if you're an individual playing with deep learning, uh, is to be paying the cloud. Uh, unless you are a startup and you create some kind of a, a multi-year contract. So that's it for this video. Hope you found it useful. Um, so you have all of those options out there. I'll link a bunch of useful resources down in the description if you wanna uh, maybe investigate a bit deeper. But that's like the, the high level overview of the of the current hardware, uh, deep learning hardware uh, landscape. So I'd like to know which options out of these uh, did you personally use and also which one works the best for you uh, in your current situation. If you think I've missed something, uh, feel free to comment uh, down in the comment section and I'll get back to you. If you found this video useful, consider subscribing and hit that like button to get notified when I upload a new video. Uh, until next time, keep learning deep.